Hello, secret treasure reveal tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls with me, Luankilo, with a solo black belt slash monk slash master uh, running through the Game Boy Advance version of the game. So welcome, hello everybody, hope you're enjoying. Last episode we uh, defeated the Castle of Ordeals, we slew the Ice Temple, we finished the waterfall, and we got promoted. So we're doing pretty good. We got that ruby armlet, which is the gold ring. Got that ribbon for special protection, and that protect ring for ring for death protection. Although, I think the ribbon also has death protection, technically. So if we ever get to the point where we have more defense by not equipping the protect ring, then we should do that. But I'm not 100%, and for now it's better anyway. So for now, that's what we'll do. And uh, yeah, let's do the Water Temple. So we've got some loot to gather. One secret item that I have not yet picked up in the entire solo run. Um, because I'm silly and I forgot about it mostly. And I'll be showing that off uh, probably today. In fact, definitely today. I guarantee it. But it's a little bit down. It's a, it's a little bit deep. We're going to have to dive deep down underwater. Also, I love the experience at this point in the game. Ooh. We're, we're going to level up pretty darn fast for today's episode. When we're getting around 3,000 experience per fight. It's not bad. So, let's see. We should probably still pick up the Mage Staff. It's not going to get a whole lot of use from a low intelligence Master Monk. But, better to have it than have forgotten it. This fight is still very scary, so we want to try to blink up before we die. Uh, they hit, they just hit way too hard. I, I still think you want to go three, three blinks on these guys. Mostly just because they deal, like, just ridiculously high amounts of damage. I, I don't know what the justification is for ghosts dealing, like, two, three, four hundred damage per hit. But that's what they do, so, uh, maybe be careful. The good news is we punch real hard. Now, I'm curious. This is just for science. How much damage would the Mage Staff do if I had used that instead? Not anywhere close. They've got, I think, around 300 HP. I'm going to look it up. Let's go to the Bestiary, which we haven't used a whole lot. Down to the Water Temple area. Which is down here. We're looking for a ghost. They, oh, they only have 180, so technically two castings of the Mage Staff at our current level and class might be enough. So they have less HP than I thought, but they do so much damage. So, so much damage. Fairly low accuracy, I guess. So that's why the uh, Blink Strats work fairly well. Hey, hey Sharks, how's it going? You got some experience for me? Yeah, you do. Good sharky. I don't even need money. What, what am I doing? Why do I need the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chest? That's not quite what it was, but it was close. Uh, I do want the diamond armlet. That's the one thing that was kind of uh, an upgrade for us. So that'll get our defense about as high as it's going to get anytime soon. Uh, I don't actually think the black belt monk can even equip the protect cloak like the mages can. So I think this is the best gear you can get as a black belt, unless you do bonus dungeon content. I think. So that's about as good as we're going to do. Um, so hope, you've, hope you're happy. Because I don't need money, I'm not going to mess around grabbing all the opal shields and stuff. I'll just end up selling them, and we're just going to hit the money cap anyway, so forget about it. Sorry, mermaids. You can keep your treasure. And uh, we got... We got we got things to do, places to go, krakens to kill, maybe. Alright, so. I haven't yet gone to the correct floor for the super special item I was talking about. But it's time to go that direction. Okay, this is definitely a good time to bring the gauntlet out. Though. The Zeus's gauntlet. <laughs> We're doing 900 damage per attack. I believe, at a similar level with an equivalent sort of gear for this area, um, we're out DPSing the knight and the ninja by a pretty long shot. So, 12 hits. 
easily over a thousand damage if you want. It's pretty good. And we might be about to find a way to make that even better. So, uh, what floor am I on? Not this floor. This is floor four, right? Eh, we'll kill these. I'll try. That's right. <laughs> I'm not very good at black magic. Two? Two castings is not enough. Alright, so I've learned my lesson. Don't mess around with the gauntlets unless you get a lot more intelligence. Or it's uh, Sahagans that you can't run away from. I love... This is such a good soundtrack. Final Fantasy VI. So good. Oh, right. But then it's got the digitized singing. Other than that, I really like that soundtrack. I just need the not digitized singing part and I'd be totally happy. Alright, second floor. This is the floor I wanted and the treasure that I'm speaking of I forget the exact chest but I, it might be this one? No. <laughs> it's It's been a while because I normally skip it because in the NES version it does nothing. But you'll see. You'll see guys. It's worth it and if you're playing solo on anyone but a mage and and even anyone but a black wizard, you should pick this item up. If you're playing the NES version, of course, it doesn't really help you, but... Is it the far bottom left? I thought this was the, uh, the Dia Axe, the, uh, the light axe that casts harm too. But I could be mistaken. Ew, that's a nasty group. Uh, Mage's Staff might work a bit better. Not significantly. Anyway, you can't put me to sleep. You can't kill me in one hit. Ah, that is the one. Alright, so bottom left chest it is. So, the giant's glove, eh? This was called, uh... Power Glove in the NES version. It's so bad. But, um... You can't even equip it as a black belt. I think it's a knight only. Okay, knight, red wizard, ninja. It's not even that hard. Uh, but, hey, it casts Saber. <laughs> And, uh, that, that might be worth something in a game where Saber is not bugged. In the NES version, it does nothing because Saber does nothing, sadly. Uh, in this version though, well, aren't you in for a surprise shortly? It might not be as good as Haste, but it'll do. I did learn during my time in, uh, Black Wizard territory I looked it up, and Temper gives you plus 14 damage, there's the Light Axe, uh, per casting of Temper, and Saber gives you plus 16 attack power per casting, uh, with a very large cap, like 255, plus 255 is the cap. So, especially on a character that gets double the normal attacks by default, which is kind of like an auto haste in a sense. Having higher attack power stacks up really well. Um, 16 damage time, or six, plus 16 damage on top of your criticals and your other stats, times 12 hits per round, it's a lot the way the math works out. And, uh, you can stack it. You can keep casting it over and over again. 16, 32, 48, all the way up to 255. Not only does it give you 16 more damage, it also gives you 10 more accuracy. And for every 32 of those, you get an extra attack. Or two extra attacks if you're a black belt. Or four extra attacks if you're a black belt that's been hasted. Now, we don't have a way to get hasted yet. But if you remember my other solo runs, specifically for Knight, there is a way. If there's a will, there's a way. And that, my friends, is how the Black Belt is going to destroy Chaos. I'm going to try to kill him in a single hit when we finally get there. Just to spoil you guys. That's the plan. I want to do at least 10,000 damage per hit, if not 20,000. So that'll be fun. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. That's assuming I can survive long enough, you know. We don't really have healing spells to, to reheal after he deals 500 damage in a single hit. So yeah, if you're playing solo, or basically if you're playing Dawn of Souls at all, go pick up the Giant's Glove. It's really good. Don't equip it. Just have it ready to go for your fighter or your black belt. It's It'll be worth it. Just trust me on that one. 
Definitely worth one or two castings for any strong boss. Ah, uh, isn't this so much better than the last couple episodes where we were just stuck dying constantly? Alright, level 55 against the Kraken. Uh, I guess we should put some music on, hey? Uh, what do we got for boss music? You know what? This is not the time for dancing mad. What am I thinking? Later. That's We just played this song. What are you doing? Where's... This'll do! You know, the Kraken would be pretty good at marionettes. Alright. It's a very mysterious, awkward boss. Anyway, we're still gonna start with the old blinking it up. Because if you do anything other than blinking it up, you'll probably die. <laughs> Terribly. I'll go with four, just to be overly cautious. And I'll even heal up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of quick science here, just like we did with the Black Wizard. Oh, that's a very short track. Oh, well. Um, normal attack. 500 damage. You know, that's pretty darn good. That's a heck of a lot more than what we could de dish out to the, the Lich. But what if you have access to Saber? One Saber, and we're up to almost a thousand. Oh, but it stacks, you say. All right, let's try again. I think it's going to die on this hit. 14 attacks. Didn't actually get too much bonus damage that time. That's okay. We're not hasted. It's the haste that gives it the really um, sweet touch on top. All right. So that's the Kraken. The Giant's Glove is too good not to pick up. And uh, I highly recommend if you're playing along to not be silly and actually remember it. Because I was just zipping through these dungeons for my uh, solo fighter and solo ninja and all that. And I just totally forgot. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think of it. I, you know, my excuse is I've been playing a lot of NES randomized. But even then, it's kind of dumb because in the original NES, the power glove was glitched. But I'm pretty sure in the randomizer they fixed it. So I went through all that not using the power glove in that either. So I guess I'm just... I've, I'm so accustomed to the old school NES version that I've just blinded myself to one of the most powerful buffs in the game. For free, like just free spells. There's not a lot that's better than that. Especially because Saber, you can only cast on yourself. You can't even have a Black Wizard cast Saber on your Black Belt. So, you know. Anyway, Diera is not going to be worth enough. Gold Needles we don't need. Dry Ether we don't need. I don't really care about Tents. Alright, so we lured Leafy in. Uh, we could go... Yeah, we'll go to deal with Tiamat later. Let's do the, the bosses, uh, let's do the Volcano next. I have a feeling, given how not really difficult the Kraken was, uh, the Merolith is gonna be kind of a joke. We've been talking about that in some of the comments as well for some of the videos. A lot of people save Merolith or Carrie for the final Fiend. Because I think most people nowadays do the Ice Cave before the Volcano. So you almost always end up like, well I've got the airship, I might as well go do the, the floater, or the, uh, the, the, vol the waterfall for the ribbon. And then you're like, well we're pretty close, we might as well get the Oxy Ale and do all that. Go to the top floor, or get the, get the Opal gear. And then you're like, well, seeing as we did that, we've got the slab, may as well go open up Leafy Inn and go to the Mirage Tower and pick up like the dragon armor and the more ribbons and stuff. And then you're like, well, while we're here, we should probably just kill the Kraken and kill uh, Tiamat because we're in the dungeon. And then after that's all done, you're like, oh yeah, we forgot about the fire fiend. I guess we have to go back. And then by the time you get there, you're overleveled and you've got the best gear in the game. You've got the Excalibur and all that. And you just, you just slaughter her. They really should have put more good loot in this dungeon, or, or something you needed, like some item in this dungeon that sort of locked out, you know, the Kraken's floor, or something like that, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm being silly. Now, don't make a mistake, we're certainly not invulnerable. We take a lot of damage, it's just that as we level up, not even counting the Giant's Glove, our damage output is scaling pretty well. We're doing 14 hits now, we got a couple levels up, and our attack multiplier went up even higher. 
we are actually only one multiplier away from the max, which will be 220 something, uh, eight times 32, whatever it is. So you guys do the math. Don't don't make me do it. So let's uh let's say hello to Carrie, or I call her Carrie, but you know, it's the Dawn of Souls, Merilith. She's hot for snake. Um, let's just see what our normal attack is, just for fun. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> Why bother blinking and, ha and hasting and giants gloving when you can just kill her in two hits at your current level? I didn't even do TM at first, and she was just so weak. That is, of course, one of the best parts of being a black belt. As you get past level 50, 60 or so, everything melts to your fists. Just everything. You got the ribbon, you got the overpowered punching... The damage output is truly phenomenal. Like, it's not as handy as being able to cast Nuke and kill an entire group of enemies in one turn. But when you're fighting a boss, psh, it's just so much faster. You know, we do enough damage that if you could split it up, we could kill every enemy in the... and if, We could kill all enemies at a, in the single round, a single attack, if you could split your attacks up across them. It's kind of crazy, actually. Like, if Giants have, like, say, 300 HP or so, if we do 1,200 damage over 16 attacks or some number, if you could do, like, four attacks per Giant for four Giants, you'd probably still kill them all. That'd be kind of neat. Hey, look, it's that rare drop that we get all the time that's kind of convenient. It's good for money. The uh, Black Mage run got a lucky couple lucky Ice Shield drops early on in the Power Peninsula that uh, definitely sped that up a little bit. All right, we got our chime. That should be the last key item we needed. Let the punching continue. Look at that, 15 minutes and we did two fiends. Pretty good. I guess I'll pick up the protect cloak while I go through um, the chaos, or sorry, the uh, the floating fortress. I have a hunch that it doesn't do anything for, like I don't think we can equip it, but I'll pick it up for, for science, just to remind myself. It'd be really cool if you could get attack all. You know, the, the materia from Final Fantasy VII that lets you just attack the whole enemy group at once. That's pretty cool. Or quad slash. That'd be nice. I guess the offering from Final Fantasy VI if you're a, a SNES version lover more than a PlayStation version lover. Alright, so Healing Hat, Vorpal Sword, Sword, Age of Shield, Garbage. Um, oh good, the Spoonie Bard's back. You know what, Spoonie Bard? You're not allowed. Uh, Dragon Armor, Sun Sword, Thor's Hammer. None of that really has any value. These... I'm worried about how much damage these guys will do. I might want to be smart with large vampire groups and, uh, defense up. Just because they hit so, so big. Uh, how much HP do they have? Just for... Like, would it be worth considering, um, are they, Earth Cave, Early Earth Cave, there he is, uh, 280 HP, I, I feel like that's buffed in the remake because he's a boss, there's a singular boss vampire, yeah, I don't think the uh, mage staff is going to be terribly effective for us because they've got so much HP. But yeah, I mean, the Black Wizard and the Red Wizard just blasted through this area so much faster because of the big spells. But they could never compete with our single target damage output. I guess, what do you call this? A burst uh, burst DPS? We're really good at just blasting an enemy with one huge attack. The, uh, the mages are way better at uh, crowd control, just wiping out hordes of lesser enemies. As it should be. In a well-balanced party with a black belt and a black mage, you're just laughing, but... Sadly, that goes against the rules of a solo run. A two-party run, a two-character run would be very easy as well. It would be so easy that I don't think it would even be considered a challenge at that point. No longer would stunlocks be instant death if you had twice the party. It'd still be bad, but... 
Um... Mostly because I don't remember if you can run from this fight. So, we'll kill him. Hey, Blue Dragon. How's it going? Oh, I'm sorry, Blue Dragon. Do I care about the Bane Sword? Nah. Sorry, Blue... Sorry, Bane Sword. I don't have time for you. I think I'll pick up the black shirt just because. I mean, like... The ability to go free Ice 2 is even better than Fire or Lightning 2. It does more damage, so... Hey! Because they're weak to Fire, we could kill them in one spell there. Not bad! A little taste of magic. Just a taste of it. Alright, so now we've got Ice 2 as well. I feel like the Black Belt is not good enough at running away from combat for me to waste turns trying to run in combat. <laughs> Alright, let's pick up that Protect Cloak, which I don't think we can do anything with, but we'll find out shortly. It's uh, this one, right? No. This one? Bottom left. But middle left is the cloth armor. So, just to check... Yeah, I, I didn't think we would be able to equip it. That's fine. I'm not terribly, not terribly miffed. Sorry, your slow spells have no effect. Don't need the katana, don't need any more money. Let's just finish this up. But when do we learn bum blitz? Or bum rush even. That's a lot of experience. I, I don't give the air elementals enough credit. They're really good for giving you experience. Ooh, and these guys can drop the item I would also like to have before we fight Chaos. I don't think we got it. I wonder if this floor specifically gets a lot of wizard vampires. Or vampire lords. Let me just spend a minute on this floor because I usually don't stick around very long. So I don't know what the encounter... Yeah, like, this is a fight I would like to spam for a little while. Just because they have a really important item that they can drop. That if I could get now would be pretty nice. Not these guys, though. What?! You stunlocked me?! You killed me?! What?! The ribbon?! It got stun and instant death?! Mind Flayers are the worst, guys! Why would they put these things in the game? They're the worst! Thank you. Just give me the Vampire Lords. That's all I'm asking for. If I don't get them pretty quick, we're just gonna uh, move on. I can't believe I died. I would like two more Vampire Lord encounters, and then I'll move. Then I'll move along. Come on, not this again. Okay, good. Okay, good. One more. I should remember this, though. I, write, write this down in your notes. This is a pretty good area for fighting, finding that encounter. And that's definitely a good encounter for the drop I want, even if, even if we're not getting it. These guys are being jerks. Hey, soldier. Hey, Nacho. Scary snake lady. And some tornadoes. More robots. Alright, come on. One more vampire lord fight and then I'm done. It's what I said, I'll stick to my word. Just give it to me, game. Ah. <laughs> Don't be... Don't hold out on me, game. I just want some cool shoes. Black Belt just wants some nice new shoes. If I get to level 70, I'm also running away. Yeah, those Rakshasha... Hey, we got one. Well, it's better than the zero I was expecting. 
Come on, give me my drop. You did not give it to me, you jerk. Alright, Bridge of Destiny, go. Ah, uh, sure, we'll kill some fire hydrants. Alright, continue. Getting a lot of encounters here. Getting a lot of encounters here. I'm not sure exactly why I'm killing the flans. Just, I think they're... Are they called... Well, they weren't flans originally. I think they looked kind of silvery in the uh, the NES version, I think. Maybe they're supposed to be the metal slimes of uh, Final Fantasy. Oh, look, four more fire hydrants. They're hydrants that spit fire. Really making me work to get to this boss today. All right. Save it. Level 70. How's my stats looking? Eight attacks, almost maxed accuracy, damage very nearly on par with Mazumu Knight damage at level 70. You can probably see where this is going. Uh, defense, you know, not great. Just want to see. Just for comparison, we get 37 without any armor at all. And we get plus 9 with the diamond armlet. It's not much. Plus 2 from the protect ring. Minus 5 from the ribbon, sadly. So we could go to 48 defense, but I'd rather have status protection. Okay, let's do this. I suppose one more boss music, hey? What do we got? Um, you know what? It's not boss music, but it's a cool sound song. And we're kind of in the futuristic sci-fi floating fortress that got killed by dragons. So it's kind of cool. Sort of fitting. Okay, well, we're still going to defend it up a little bit. Because uh, Tiamat hits pretty hard. And uh, we'll go with three, I guess. And uh, why don't we go with like a couple Giant's Gloves. I'd like to do this without having to heal. So two. She hasn't done any more. As soon as she hits me, we'll, we'll attack. Okay, you hit me. That'll do. Three Giant's Gloves. And what are we up to? 18 attacks. 23. We almost one-shot her. I think... I think she has like 24 each. 2400, I think. Anyway. Hey, we got another level up. Why not? And orb be bright. Hooray. Thank you, game. So, uh, you know, that was pretty good. Um, but, but, uh, what was I going to say? Should I try to find my old friend up here before we end the episode? We have a history of trying to fight him at least once before we leave. I think I have to do it. Not sure how long, I mean, you know, you know, I always got things to do, places to be. We're doing over 2,000 damage on the occasional critical hit against the fire hydrants. This is getting to be a little bit ridiculous, but it's a good kind of ridiculous. So how long do you think it's going to take? Who's placing bets on Old Blue and how long it takes for him to find his friend? And you know me, no matter what I say, five more fights, ten more fights, you know I'm going to stay till I find him. I wonder if uh, it's faster yet to use Ice 2. Eh, it's probably sort of the same. If I put it in the quick item slot, it'd be pretty good. It's better for turns, but, you know, I can hold down A and super speed pretty easily. Although it looks like if we got a couple more level ups, we'll probably kill them with ice in one turn. That'd be nice. That'd be nice! The ice, the nice ice for sale. Yeah, you guys know. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Quit hiding. I know you're out here. Oops, the ice shield. That doesn't do anything. You can see my confusion. Oh, this is a fitting uh, soundtrack choice for the background while we're waiting for our mysterious friend to appear. Hey, look, another level up. Yay. When you end up getting to level 99, just trying to find your robot friend. Come on, robot friend. These guys are pretty tough. 100 damage, eh? I'm just testing out whether or not this is a worthwhile strategy. 
Looks to be the answer is probably no. Well, we maxed out our HP, so that's worth something at least. Doop -a, -doop. a level up! Hooray! Good job! You worked really hard for that level up. You fought like five battles. 2221 damage. New record. It's probably not, honestly. I'm playing so fast you can barely read, right? Can I just... I don't want to fight you. Fine, I'll fight you! Doesn't mean I want to, but I will. Oh, I'm out of high potions! Oh no. Well... Fire hydrants are telling me that maybe my time is up. Because I, uh, I can't stay here any longer if I, if I keep taking damage. I just wanted to fight my robot friend. And now I can't heal up anymore. Well, I mean, I could use the, the X potion, but that'd be a big mistake. Shucks! I wasn't keeping count. I, I, I forgot to stock up before we came up here. Hmm. I mean, I could just reset it every so often from my save with full HP and see what happens. I was really expecting to show off a death machine fight and like, kill him in one hit, which is probably not what, not what would happen. But I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to show me to you guys. It's my robot friend. Every other solo run had him in it. I got, I got no way to heal here. I guess we could come back later. Psh, I think I'll remember that. Well. Alright, this is it. Ten more fights. And then we're out of here. That's it. Okay, that's number ten. We're really good at running away. Number nine. Number eight. And I'm just going to reset, because you can't run from those easily. <laughs> Number seven. That's a six. That's a five. Four. Count them down with me. Three. Thanks for dealing all that damage, so I have to reset. Alright, that was three. That's fine. It still counts. And two, and one, and zero. Thanks for the battle that deals a whole bunch of damage. I appreciate that, Air Elementals. Uh, and negative one. Ah, there we go. It always happens after I count down from ten and then do a couple extra. That's the rule. I'm so glad. All right, so... um. I'm going to go one times giant gloves, and then I'm going to attack, because I only get a few turns before I'm dead. <sighs> Barely. I think if I get another attack, I might kill him. I think I made the correct decision, because Blink doesn't seem to work very well. It also does not stop his nukes at all. So if you just think of it in, in frames of how many turns will it take to kill him, I think if I attacked him normally, I would have done like half as much damage and it would have taken like an extra turn or two to actually kill him and because we had saber that one turn of bonus damage i think that more than doubled our attack it's hard to say for sure for sure but that was a good solid kill i'd say that was pretty clean so death machine we still haven't had the genji armor drop but yeah 2000 damage we were doing like just a little over 1000 so that's about perfect for killing him in two turns Cool. All right. Well, I bet you... I don't know. Were you, were you guys thinking I was going to fail? Did you think I was going to quit before I'd kill my old robot pal? You were mistaken. All right. So we are at Chaos Temple time, basically. All that's left to do is heal up, buy some high potions, and basically head on down to the Chaos himself. I'll buy the potions because we're going to run low on healing here. And we'll sell off basically everything that doesn't do anything. 
Red Fang. Oh boy, we can cast Fira. Once. Okay. So we got tons of money. We're only level 78. Wow, lowest level ever for going to the KS Temple. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'll just leave these down here because I probably won't use them. Uh, you know what? I'll sort them. So potion, high potion, X potion, elixir. We'll pick up one more elixir on the way down. That way I've got three full heals. Ah, we might be able to do this. I'd feel happier if we had uh, Hermes shoes, which I did not get from my wizard friends. But um, I have a feeling we can kill Chaos fairly easily with our fancy giant glove. Anyway, that's all for today's episode. Next episode we will head on down and we'll see if we can win. Um, honestly, Black Belt at this phase of the game, he does so much damage. Basically we're in like Masmune tier damage and uh, he's just going to keep getting stronger for his last 21 level ups. Uh, it's kind of insane. So uh, fairly easy time now, which is fun. This is This is... The best part of any black belt run is at the end of the game when you start just punching everything into space. So anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for, I expect, the conclusion to this series.